together guys, Ballsy here, aka Nick or vice versa. We've got the other Nick here in the background welding like a bitch on his comp truck. Uh, we're at the back of the Jeep again, but we've got the fridge hooked up, 12 volt sockets in. What we want to do is convert that into an Anderson plug, so we've caught another lead off just like this. Plug the fridge back in, and what we'll do is we'll put one of these Anderson plugs on. I'm just going to reset up the camera so you can see what we're doing. Plug end, sitting in the pliers here, our mini gas axe, if we can get it working. We're going to get our wire ready and our solder. Okay. The wire ends are ready. Solder, twist it up so it melts a bit easier to deal with. We heat up. Heat up our little end. Put out some fires. One thing you'll see is that as this cools, yeah, you might get a little bit of melting on your heat shield there, but as it cools, it sucks a lot of the solder up into the wire. And you notice the solder was full and on fire before we shoved it in, but now the solder is right down inside of it. And I just want to sort of make sure we get that right in there. Turn the gas off so you can see what we're doing. So we've got a nice new end there. Obviously it's a little bit messy because we've got a bit of the shielding in there and we're mixed up with it, but we've got a good connection now that uh, it's not going to have any issues. We can tidy that up once we've done both of them. That's the basics of it. We'll show you the end product in a second, guys. As we can see here, people, we have our new Anderson plug end and let's go and fit this puppy up to the fridge obviously we take the old one out and twist our cable plug it into the power source now we've got our old one here, that can be our spare in case we damage it. 